Hello. All right, what I want to show you today is the Focus Design System. And I want to show you how you can use this to take the, the fewest amount of steps to do the fewest amount of things to get the customizations that you want. Uh, and that's really the power of the Focus Design System. So let's, so what you're looking at here is just a, I just installed Focus on this site. Uh, this is just the default look of Focus. And I wanna show you how you can use the Focus Design System to change uh, you know, the design that you see here into whatever you want. All right, so let's dive in. So we're looking at the focus design options. And what is interesting about the focus design options is the way they are set up. They are set up in such a way that you specify what I've called a base. Uh, and a base is, uh, you know, the, like the core components that you're going to use in your design. So number one, you might specify the main font size that happens on your site. Number two, you might specify uh, up to three different fonts for use in your design. You really don't want to use any more than three fonts in any in any design because just it becomes a jumbled mess. Things lose their um, you know things lose their meaning. So you you specify a certain font on your headlines, for example. If you see this font repeated elsewhere on the site, you you know the visitor or you instantly knows that oh hey this is a headline font that type of thing. So you don't want to use too many, but Focus gives you uh, allows you to specify three different fonts for use. Uh, it ships with the default system font, so whatever operating system you're on, Mac or Windows or whatever, it will display with the system font. Uh, so anyway, you specify your base, so there's your font base. You've got a color base. This is your layout color palette, and you've got a text color palette as well. Um, you've got some basic border styles that are kind of inherent to the focus design. You can see here's border over there, border there, border at the bottom, border above this. And then after the colors and fonts, we also have one more base known as the base layout dimension. So like how wide is your design? How wide is your column of content? For example, this one is 644 pixels wide. And then you can also specify the gutters that appear on smaller layouts. So what a gutter is, is uh, this really affects mobile devices and other small screens. But if we go to a mobile view, You see this white space on either side of the layout, that's known as a gutter, and that is also something you have control over with the Focus Design Options base. So after you set up your base, uh, you then can deploy items from the base. And this is really the thing, this is, this is the huge benefit here. This is what makes it a system. This is what makes it so, uh, so useful. And so what you do is after you specified your, the items in your base, you can go down to these other more granular design items, and then select items to deploy from your base. So for example, and there's some, some little benefits here too, so like if you select color two, it actually changes the background of this select element to be whatever is currently specified uh, in your display, or in the, uh, the base above. So that's cool. And you can do this, there's different options for different elements. Uh, these options are gonna be super relevant to whatever you wanna do and should cover whatever you wanna do. And, you know, it just goes on and on. You can change site title, tagline, nav menus, sidebar, inputs, all this stuff. You can go in and change specific content elements. So content elements, so you've got articles, post pages on your website, you've got stuff inside here. This is a highlight. This is a drop cap. This is an alert. These are heading size one, two, three, four. This is a subheading. We've got an image with a caption and a frame. We've got lists. You've got images. You've got uh, block quotes. Here's a regular block quote. Yeah, like I said, you've got alerts, notes, and then boxes. You've got different image styles. Here's an inline caption. Uh, we've got a big image that's extended. We've got one with a frame. You get the idea. These are content elements. And so you can specify the exact, you know, e everything you want about a content element. Like for example, just to illustrate here, let's say you want your headlines to be bold. All right, super easy. We'll say, uh, I've gone under content elements, headlines. I'm gonna change the font style to bold. I'm gonna save it. We're gonna go over here and boom, now our headlines are bold. It's just that easy to change the stuff you want to change. Again, you specify your base items for your design, 
and then you deploy items from the base down here to change whatever it is you want to change.